the process of appointment of judges and the quality of judgments of courts. A couple of years ago, appointment to the bench was strictly on merit, strictly on merit. Sound knowledge of the law, integrity, honor, and hard work distinguished those who were elevated. Lobbying was unheard of. Lobbying to, to accost justices into their chambers by people who seek to be elevated that the judges should put in words for them. We're, we're, we're unheard of. You will just be sitting and if those who are given the responsibility of making the elevation find you worthy, you will just get a letter to that effect. You wouldn't have gone to anybody to ask for any favors or recognition. But that is not the case today, unfortunately. I never lobbied, not at any stage of my career, to secure any appointment or elevation. And I challenge anybody to contradict this statement of mine. As much as possible, the most qualified men and women were appointed. That can no longer be said about appointments to the bench these days. The, judici the judiciary must be uniquely above board. Appointments should not be polluted by political, selfish, and sectional interests. The place of merit, it must be urged, cannot be overemphasized. Recently, fresh allegations have been made that children and other relatives of serving and retired judges and justices are being appointed into judicial offices at the expense of more qualified candidates liking in such privilege and backing. It is asserted that the process of appointment to judicial positions are deliberately conducted to give undue advantage to the children, spouses, and mistresses of serving and retired judges and managers of judicial offices. At the Court of Appeal, it is also asserted that presiding justices are now being appointed out of turn out of turn. When we were there, people to become presiding justices knew themselves and when they would become such uh, officers. But now the perception is that now justices have been appointed out of turn. And there is the further issue of the unpredictable nature of re uh, recent decisions of the courts as well. A number of respected senior members of the bar inter alia, and I'm glad the president of the bar association has also alluded to such comments made by uh, practitioners.